but um, we'll go with the same plan we had last week and just let it recover as best it can and then see where we stand. Is it almost kind of like, you know, you were confident you could go, mm -hmm. but then when you get out there, is it almost kind of a relief to know that you can do? What you yeah, I mean, do? usually I'm pretty confident if I can get out there to start that I can, I can make it through the game. So um, really just getting through the week and making sure I get to where I need to get to play. Um, and then once I get going and the adrenaline gets going, I'm, I'm usually pretty confident that I can make it through the rest of the time. Jason, there's been a lot of drama outside the building. Freddie insists that you guys are not bothered by it. Is that the case? Yeah, I, I think um, you know, we, we stay pretty insulated. Um, and you know, we try not to get you know, too caught up with what's said and, and what's talked about. And um, you know, we've kind of dealt with that for the entire season now, starting in training camp and, and moving on. So I, I think we're, we're well equipped and, and well used to kind of how, how it's been going. So um, you know, I, I think we're, we're fine. Hey, can you, can you tell on the field in the first yeah. half that you're not running the ball much being in the center? Well, I mean, I know whether it's a run or a pass, um, but I, I don't really keep track of it. Again, I mean, we're more more focused on what the score is, um, and I've always been one to say it's a lot of it's just game flow related. Um, and you know, you get asked about it all the time whether we should run more, whether we should pass more, and a lot of it just depends on how the flow of the game is. And um, you know, ideally, I think as an offensive line, we we love run blocking, so I think that's always going to be what we want to do. Um, but we're more focused on, on trying to win the game, and that's why you have faith in you know, the, the play caller, the coaches, uh, to, to get us in the position they feel like it's best for us to win that game. So I, I, I don't think that's something where they're you know, keeping track and asking, you know, not one person on the sideline said, you know, why, didn't we, why haven't we run more? No, no one's thinking about that in, in the time. No, no, I mean, we, we come in, we, we know we're going to discuss what plays we want to get to, so all that is is just talking about you know, what plays we like, what plays after watching them defend us for a half, what plays we think are going to work. Um, so it, it's never really talked about. Um, it's more we, we run the plays called, um, and we have faith they're, they're being called for a reason. So it, it's not, there's no questioning of that or, you know, us thinking we should do something different. We're, we're focused on just trying to execute what the game plan is. How difficult is it, JC, if you say you guys black out all this outside noise, is that difficult? I mean, you, you know, you go to the store, you go to gas, you go out to dinner. I'm sure people will talk to you about it. Yeah, again, I, I think um, it's one of those things where it, you have to kind of handle it yourself and that, you know, if you're going to spend your afternoons reading and, and looking things up online, yeah, you're going to be a little more caught up in it than, than others. I think most of us kind of stay away from that type of stuff and don't try to get in the weeds per se. Um, so when, when you're like that, then you know, maybe someone asks about you at a, at a grocery store or something, but it doesn't really affect your day-to-day -day life. Uh, we, we really focus on what goes on in, in these four walls and, and what we can handle here, um, not, not anything else going on outside of it. How well have you gotten to know Odell this year? I would say pretty well. Do you, I mean, do, obviously there's a lot of stuff out there about him not being happy here. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten that vibe from him at all? Uh, no, uh, I mean, I, I, I get along with Odell really well. Um, I think we have a really good relationship. We joke around every day together. I, I, you know, it always seems like he's having a, a fun time and, um, you know, is lighthearted and able to, you know, you're able to joke with him and make fun of him. He makes fun of you. Um, I mean, he's been, been a, you know, a, a model citizen since getting here. So I, I haven't seen any, any negative to it. And, um, no, we, I mean, I, I feel like he gets along with a lot of guys really well. One of the stories called him lost. I don't know what that'd be referring to, really. He kind of lost his way in his career and with his being happy here and you know, finding his place in the team. And no, I mean, I think especially, you know, any great player wants to make plays and wants to, um, you know, show what he can do. Um, so I think there's, there's levels of frustration, there's types of frustration. And, you know, I, I think he would love to go out there and have 12 catches, 200 yards, and four touchdowns. I think, I mean, that would be a great day. Um, and sometimes that doesn't happen. Uh, and I, I think, for the most part, he's okay with that. I think he would always love that to happen. Would, we would love it, too. We'd win a lot of games if that was the case. Um, so I think there's, you know, the term frustration is always looked at in a negative type of, of light of, oh, well, he's frustrated. That means things aren't going well within the team. 
I think he can be frustrated that he wants to do more and wants to get more opportunities, but that doesn't always mean it's, it's a shot at anybody or it's a negative for the team. Um, I think that's just kind of the balance of playing a team sport with, with kind of an individual aspect to it where he wants to do whatever he can to help the team win. And usually that is, you know, catching balls and making plays. Um, but I think, you know, from what I've spoke with Odell about, he cares most about winning. Um, so I think that really is what takes care of it. Hey, given what you said that every lineman wants to run block, mm -hmm. prefers that. Um, how have you uh, enjoyed the evolution of this Chubb and Hunt dynamic? Mm -hmm. And where do you see it going? Uh, Coach said that there's still things that. Are yeah, I mean, it, it's still it's still kind of a, a new. Um, position group for us, uh, having Kareem come back mid-season. I think we continue to grow and build um, that part of the offense, and I think that's what can continue to go even when we get a full offseason, uh, hopefully the two, that, that we can just keep building on that. Um, but it, it's been a great aspect. They're both such great guys and willing to do whatever it takes for the team, where you see the first week Kareem come back and is kind of a lead blocker for most of it and just embrace that role, and it was a great week for us against the Bills. Um, and Nick's the same way, where, where both of them uh, just want to do whatever it takes for us to, to win and, and you know progress through the through the year. So they've both done a really good job of that. When Chubb rips off a 57-yarder, do you have a favorite part of that? <laughs> well, I mean, he always makes us look really good. I, you know, that's that's something he's been doing since uh, since he first got here. You know, we we've talked about it with the Oakland game last year, where some of our some of our you know blocks aren't perfect, but he finds a way to to make a couple guys miss and make us look really good for it. So you know, that's always something that, that we as offensive linemen enjoy where, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we give him runs where, you know, he can get through to the second level untouched and sometimes we don't. And when he can take those ones we don't and make us look really good about it, then it, uh, it's a positive for us. Chubb is three games from uh, winning the NFL rushing title. He won't say that's his goal, but it's usually a feather in the cap to the linemen mm -hmm. to do that. So is that a motivator for you guys up front to push him? Or to lead the way for him to I think I think our motivation is to win. I think um, if in the next three games Nick has three really good rushing games, I think those two things kind of go hand in hand. We'll, we'll probably will have won those three games. So I think our main focus as an offensive line is is to win these next three games. Um, but if we can establish Nick and get him going and and have him succeed, um, I think that's going to make us win those games. And would you share in that uh, honor if he got there? Oh no, I mean we. No, that's, I mean, it's a huge accomplishment for Nick. It's a huge, huge accomplishment for us um, where, it, you know, it's, um, you know, there's only, only one, you know, rushing title winner a year. So to, to be part of that line would be, uh, definitely be special for us. Uh, Freddie wasn't even asked this today. He just opened with it. He said, you know, he talked to Baker about criticizing the medical staff mm -hmm. regarding Odell's injury yesterday. I'm assuming you've heard. Yep. Okay. Um, You've played through injuries, mm -hmm. and obviously it's part of the sport and everything. You've worked with that staff a lot. What, do you worry that there's any mistrust there between the locker room and that staff or that Baker's comments could facilitate that, or is well, that just kind of a one-off? I mean, I, I can speak to my experiences, um, and I've obviously worked with them quite a bit in the last uh, year or so now. Um, they are great trainers, great people as well. Um, and they always are looking out for, for your best interests and, and what's going what's gonna to make it the best for you and keep you healthy and, and keep you on the field. So uh, I, I can't say uh, enough good things uh, about the guys in there from top to bottom. Um, I've never had a bad experience. Uh, I, I don't know anybody who has had a bad experience with them. I, I think um, you know, they, they always try to do what's best for the player and that as a player is all you can ever ask, uh, is that those guys are always looking out for you, uh, and it's, it's always delicate, um, but you know, I, I have full confidence in, in them, you know, what they do, the way they, they approach the team and the players individually. Um, again, there, there's not enough good things I could say about our training staff. The question I have uh, is connected to uh, an ongoing perception across the season that the, the Browns uh, are a little disconnected and, uh, and are groping for chemistry. But I'm probably only asking this because a Bengals player said it yesterday. He said after the game that on the field, the Browns uh, are not connected. 
not connected at all. I mean, he, he emphasized the point. There was there was no mistaking his point, but his perception was that the Browns, you know, they, they sent him probably would be chemistry, but he said that the Browns play as if they're not connected. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know who said that. Uh, and, and awesome. We'll, yeah, I, again, I, I don't get too caught up in, in talking about what other people think that they saw and know. Um, you know, a lot of people can say a, a lot of things, uh, and you know, I try not to to waste too much of my time worrying about what kind of a random guy's opinion is on stuff that he doesn't know what's going on in this team. I think he uh, he should probably worry about what's going on in his own team at this point. So, uh, Freddie, Freddie said that was he thought it was the best game for the O line as a whole. Mm. Do you agree with that? And why? Yeah, uh, I think I think pass protection uh, was was really solid for us yesterday. I think we uh, we we blocked pretty well. Um, uh, run blocking, obviously, you know, we, we can always do better. Nick helps us out with that 57 yard run, makes everything kind of look cleaner on the, on the stat sheet in the end. So we, we can definitely improve fundamentally run blocking. Um, but I think pass protection was kind of the, the cleanest it's been, um, giving us time to throw and make plays on the field. What about the job that Kendall did at filling in it right Kendall did great. Kendall did great. Uh, stepped in. I mean, he's, you know, he's got plenty of experience. He started a lot of games down in Houston. Um, so that wasn't something that we were even concerned with going into the game. We had all the faith in the world in him, uh, and he went out there and battled and played really well. Hey, were you surprised that I mean, you said all that nice, good stuff about the training staff? Mm-hmm. Did it surprise you when you heard that Baker had said that? And do you feel any need to talk to him? Like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll probably end up talking to Baker, but I haven't had it, had the chance. Um, but I, I think he he clarified it, and, and sometimes it's just the heat of the moment, and there's a kind of a, a misspoken. Uh, quote or anything like that, so I'm sure I'll I'll chat with him about it. But you know, uh, again, I, I think you know you can ask a lot of people in this locker room, and that all echo similar things of, of what I said about how how good our training staff is here.